Hello and welcome to Overreactor. Today we are going to explore the front-end developer roadmap. So if you are planning to get into front-end or if you are already in front-end and if you are confused that where should I go, what should I learn, then this is going to be the perfect video for you. Uh, today we will see what are the path, what are the technologies framework you should learn if you want to grow in front-end field. So I am Shum Kumar from Overreacted and without any further delay, let's begin. Also if you feel that there is some background noise, please ignore that. Uh, so, first of all, the question is what is front-end actually? Uh, in this video, we are not going to explore the back-end part or full stack. We will just see what is front-end. So, anything that you see on a website, when you go to google.com, the search bar that you see, when you go to Amazon, the whole uh, product page, the description page, the cart, everything that you see is front-end. There are websites with great UI. It all uh, it is all due to front end. So you love a web website due to its front end part. You love a website because of the UI it provides you. So it's very important that the UI of a website is very good. So this is all about front end. So to move ahead, how you should start front end? Uh, starting stage, uh, there are three things that uh, there are three technologies or languages you can say that you must know. First is HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Second is CSS, Cascading Style Sheet, and third is JavaScript, obviously. So, all the website, all the browsers understand Java HTML. It's a markup language, as the name says. Uh, it has syntaxes, it has uh, predefined syntaxes, tags that you can use uh, to create web pages. Without CSS and JavaScript, HTML is just simple text, uh, very few styling and everything uh, that it provides. So, it's better to learn CSS to give style to your website, to give, you know, decorative aesthetic feels to your website and JavaScript is all about the functionality that you add to your website. So we will explore each of these one by one. Let's start with HTML. So how much time it will take? So if you are beginner, if you are just learning, exploring HTML, then it will hardly take you three, four days because all you have to do is to go to W3 schools. As you can see, this is W3 schools and learn HTML. So you see here, you can see everything all about HTML. So there are a lot of uh, semantic tags to learn. There are tags in HTML basically. So there are a lot of semantic tags to learn HTML in HTML. You don't have to know all. Just know the basics, the important ones that you are going to use. And as you go, as you explore more and more, you learn about them all. So where to learn? Uh, you can learn them from a W3 schools as I uh, showed you. Or from a free YouTube channel called The Net Ninja. There is a playlist called HTML playlist and it's one of the best playlist I've ever seen. So if you are just starting out, I do check out the Net Ninja. Now, how will you uh, check your progress? The best way that I recommend is by making projects, is by making uh, something to showcase. So if you just if you are just learning HTML and if you have learned few semantic tags, you should create a plain portfolio. Just your introduction, sorry, just your introduction, your name, about you, your photo, styling, uh, positioning your uh, content and everything. Use uh, as many semantic tags as you can and to uh, uh, because you know uh, the more you will practice the more you will learn. So that's why I create a plain portfolio with just HTML, no CSS, no JavaScript or you can cre create a blog website. Just use a picked photo, uh, some content and display it on your web page. So in this manner you can learn HTML. Hardly it will take three or four days. Next comes CSS. So CSS is all about beauty. How beautifully you style your website is all due to CSS. Uh, how much time it will take if you are learning CSS? Again, it will take three, four days to just know the basics. These, this three, four days is not about mastering CSS. It will take a lot more time, maybe months, maybe years. Uh, even experienced developers uh, have to Google sometimes, all the time basically, to see how to center a div. So yeah, CSS will take time. Uh, it will take, as you practice, you will learn tricks of CSS. Where to learn? Again, W3 schools is the best place to learn CSS and the net ninja playlist uh, net ninja is one of my favorite channel and there is a good playlist from where you can learn css what projects will you create if you have learned css now you can style your website so create something unique uh, now again uh, what you created earlier with just simple html now style it uh, uh, give it more styling uh, give it more aesthetic looks with css so again plain uh, portfolio and a blog website uh, if you are learning CSS, make sure a few things you learn very carefully. Uh, it's about positioning a box model of CSS. I'll say learn flex flex box because uh, if you learn flex property of CSS, 
then you can style any layout that you want and the most recent one is grid there are online games available there is flex froggy there is css grid uh, just play those games and you learn css very well and also there are a few things which many developers miss in the beginning it's uh, css selectors you should be very clear with css selectors because it is going to they are going to help you a lot when you are styling your website to specifically give priority to your styling so selectors make sure you learn selectors make sure you learn flex and grid so these three are the most important thing apart from that there are just basic uh, css uh, that you should know to style your website and again i am saying that as you go forward you learn more and more about css next comes javascript javascript is like the most loved language in the universe i'll say the complete internet is dependent on javascript how much time i am saying 3 4 weeks but this is just scratching the surface of javascript actually learning javascript will take you years more than 5 years 6 years even 10 years so yeah but you should start as soon as you can with javascript so where to learn w3 schools the net ninja and programming with mosh there is a very beautiful course designed by mosh uh, you can take subscription or you know how to find courses i am sure you are smart enough and then there is a book series by kel jemison called ydk js you don't know javascript yes so it's a it's available for free on github you can download the pdf you can download the ebooks and read from there but it is slightly advanced there is just javascript course by dan abramov you can try that but uh, the best way to learn javascript is by practicing the more and more you will code javascript the more you will learn you'll see there are tricks there are uh, some work arounds uh, to do in javascript so yes it will take 3 4 weeks to just learn the basics to get familiar with javascript but to actually master it it will take you years so keep on reading javascript now what are the projects that you can create you can create any simple game let's say tic tac toe let's say rock paper scissor or you can you can create any game that you like and then you can create a chat app use socket io use firebase or you use anything and create a simple chat app with javascript html and css Uh, or you can create an audio dictionary you know where you just put your word and it will pronounce it it will show the definition and everything so try to make as beautiful ui as you can make it as responsive as you can yes i forgot this in uh, css actually so in css you should learn about media queries and responsiveness as well so what happens when you see uh, our website looks slightly different in a desktop or laptop or and it looks slightly different in a tablet or mobile that's because of the responsiveness of the website uh, so make sure you learn media queries as well in css so yes that's about javascript uh, again i'm saying it will take you a lot more time to learn and master javascript than you are thinking you will face a lot of bugs but stack flow is uh, stack overflow is there to help you out whenever you are stuck so best of luck with javascript so from here your journey starts with frameworks and libraries uh, here you will differentiate yourself from other developers now i am you can see three logos here one is react one is angular and one is view all of these three are very popular angular and view are frameworks react is a library so uh, you can react is very lightweight i personally prefer react in this video uh, i'll talk about react not angular and view many companies around the world are using angular and view as well but uh, if you are a beginner you can go you should go with react as per my recommendation but do your own research and decide what you want uh so the thing is it doesn't matter which framework or library library you choose from these three and there is amber js there are there are a lot more what matters is how strong your javascript is if your javascript fundamentals are really strong then you can pick any framework and master it in a very short period of time so just go with any one of them and just make sure that your javascript foundation is really strong so that you don't face problem while adapting any of this framework so let's see what react js is about react js is very simple it's a library basically and you can it's very lightweight you get a lot of things done already you get beautiful components pre built uh, you got a lot of libraries to use so uh, react js makes development really very fast and a lot of companies i'm saying really a lot of companies are using react js nowadays uh, the demand is very high so how much time it will take to learn react js frankly speaking it will take more than a few months to learn react js but again if you just want to scratch the surface learn the basics make a few projects here and there then it will hardly take two or three weeks provided that you understand javascript really well now what are the things in javascript that you should know uh, well i'll say that uh, es6 learn till es6 uh, learn ecmascript 6 really well so that you can use those in react js so from where you can learn react js i'll say the net ninja again there is a very good 
uh, playlist created by Net Ninja. And apart from that, uh, there is another course by Programming with Mosh. Uh, you can download that course by paying or you are smart enough again. And then there is a course by Ken C. Dodds called Epic React. I'll provide all the links. I'll provide this presentation in the description as well. You can take reference from there. And now what are the projects that you can do in React.js? Uh, I'll say that uh, nowadays it's very, uh, it's a trend nowadays that people create clones of other famous websites, other famous UIs in React in their particular framework, in their particular library. So you can create clone of Netflix. There are a lot of tutorials available. There are a few videos on my website as well. Uh, my channel as well, sorry. Uh, you can create clones, you can create a video call app, you will experience Socket IO, you will experience WebRTC and everything. And you can create a shopping website. There you will learn about state management. Then again, you have a choice in state management, whether you want to go to go with context, uh, Redux, and then Flux. So these are all our, uh, some advanced things that you should learn. Right now, just keep in mind that uh, you should start with React as soon as you can, as soon as you have understood JavaScript really well. And alongside, uh, keep on sharpening your JavaScript skills and practice React.js. Create uh, smooth UIs, buttery smooth UIs in React.js. Uh, watch as many tutorials as you can. As I said, Epic React is one of the best course I have ever seen by Ken C. Dodds. It is available on egghead.io. I'll provide the link in the description. So this is about React.js. Now, to show you how popular React is, let's see the demand of React.js on LinkedIn. You will see here, that software development front end this is for react.js if you will see here uh they must be asking react.js react.js view.js angular redux and if you go back here you can see react.js developer on zeppe you can see front end developer ui developer angular then front end react.js developer so you can see the demand of react.js in the industry let that track pass so yeah, so you can see clearly see the demand of React.js in the industry. It's huge. So it's uh, good to go with React, sharpen your skill as you go along the path. And yeah, let's get back to presentation. What next? What after you have learned React.js? Yeah, let's say you have learned React.js really well. So you can learn Next.js. It is server-side uh, rendering, basically SSR. So what is server-side you will learn? Uh, once you have explored React, you, once you have find the faults in React, Everything has pros and cons, right? So uh, you will discover that there are few challenges with React.js. Next.js will overcome those. And there are few challenges with JavaScript. TypeScript here in this, this logo that you see is of TypeScript. So TypeScript will help you overcome those challenges of JavaScript. It's all about type. So yeah, once you are uh, familiar with React you, and you want to explore more, I'll say sharpen your React skills as much as you can. But if you want to explore more, uh, go with Next.js and TypeScript and uh, follow the courses on YouTube. There are a lot of free courses. You don't have to buy anything from Udemy or Scrimba or don't, you don't have to spend even a penny anywhere. Just learn for free from YouTube. There are, there's a lot of content available on YouTube, uh, on Medium or on dev.io. Uh, so just learn from there for free. And uh, yeah, explore GitHub. There are some lot of, uh, there are some very great repositories on GitHub. You should explore those. Anything else? Yeah, to be a front-end developer, uh, you should know version control system, Git basically. So uh, uh, not particularly GitHub, many developers confuse this. Uh, there are a lot of version control systems like uh, platforms like GitLab is there, Bitbucket is there, GitHub is there. The core concept of Git is always the same. It doesn't matter which platform you use because once you are in a company, they might be using GitLab, they might be using Bitbucket, they might be using GitHub. Just learn Git. Uh, the command line tools of git uh, the it's the cheat sheet is available there might be a small crash course to learn git just learn it from there and implement it then there is unit testing for front end this uh, this is not mandatory at this stage but uh, if you want to explore more learn unit testing with jest enzyme and there are other libraries as well so this is for future so i hope uh, the roadmap is clear first of all you have to learn html then css then javascript as much as you can uh, learn JavaScript from books, from blogs, from videos, and don't ever stop reading about JavaScript because there is a lot of mystery behind JavaScript. There are a lot of things like literally there is a GitHub repo called what the fuck JavaScript because it just blows your mind that what's happening in JavaScript. You write something, happens something unexpectedly. So to explore all this, you'll have to practice more and more JavaScript. There, and if you are, uh, if you want to learn higher concepts, there is a playlist by 
Akshay Saini called Namaste JavaScript. I highly recommend that before interviews. So explore that playlist as well. So I hope I was clear enough. Uh, if you want to explore Angular, I'll come up with uh, about Angular in my upcoming videos. So far, I have covered React.js. I hope you are clear with React.js as well. Uh, if you have any doubt, just comment it out. I'll reply it. I'll try to solve your doubt. And if you like this video, of course, uh, press the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So this was about the front end developer roadmap. I'll be back with more roadmaps about back end about full stack. So till then, bye bye. Thank you.